Kai, would you fucking turn the music down, please? Jeez. Relax, wow, you could have asked nicely. Yeah, goddamn. Welcome to, to F- Welcome to episode 250... What, I don't know. What, what, it's, I don't know it's well, we're, something. We're definitely, we're definitely not past episode 250 because, you know us, we would have been, made a big occasion out of something like that. Oh, true. We, we are known for our big celebrations like that. Yeah. It's we wouldn't a, let that slip by us. 240-something. And Jackson has something kind of wild to talk about today, which is kind of rare, but you love to see it. What's going on, Jackson? Yeah, you bet. And uh, you guys know this already because I just haven't been able to shut up about it. But uh, did you guys know it's Jennifer Lawrence's birthday today? I bet <laughs> it's <laughs> nutty. Day, Lord. We, Woo, we I love the Jennifer podcast. Lawrence. We wish you a wonderful birthday, Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, this a week is late. <laughs> oh, what? What? I was told it was her birthday. Oh, oh, I see. Because this episode is coming out wow. in a week, right? Yeah, that's that's how yeah. the uh, upload oh, schedule yeah, yeah, works. Yeah. yeah. So happy birthday, J Law, for a week ago. Uh, very excited to see what you do next. If you do anything next, if not, that's completely fine. Uh, you know, I'm fine with whatever, J Law. Just do, just do you. I was told by Charlie that I love Jennifer Lawrence, so I'm very excited to hear this. Mm-hmm. Well, can you confirm you or deny whether or not you like J Law? I don't know. It, Charlie told me what I know. So he's he likes Je- he likes Jennifer. Oh, he does. Okay, I like J Law. Yeah. Okay. Cool. How come? Cool. 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 Um, Charlie, how come I like her? Because uh, her and I have history together. We starred ah. in the same movie together. So by yeah, extension, Ka- <laughs> Ka- Kaya, I how like her I because Charlie and her starred in the same movie together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. A let's see how movie. well you know Jennifer Lawrence, Andrew. What was she in? Uh, the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 See? The Fappening. Uh, <laughs> that was, that a was her featured role, role yeah. yeah. Um, it's, you know, I, I don't think I can name a single other movie she's in. Uh, well, there were other fine. Hunger Games movies. Uh, she yeah, was in the other Hunger Games, Games yeah. Except those, yeah. I have no idea. I don't. Yeah. She she was like a, a a burning star or a bright star, whatever the phrase is. She she was a star that burnt twice as quick or something, and then like now she's disappeared. How poetic. Now we don't know what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's she's the a star brightest that star as... burns the f- or burns out. No, it's the the candle, fastest. right? It's the yeah. candle, not, not even what? a star. The candle that burns. So it's two phrases. <laughs> the candle that burns at both ends burns twice as quick. <laughs> And the star that burns brightest burnt, like, I don't remember that one, but it, it's another one, yeah. <laughs> she was a star that burnt at both ends. We're putting two different phrases together, uh, and yet we can't remember, remember either. <laughs> I see. You guys I are so I, eloquent. I think I, only, I think I only said star because she's a, like, she's a star. I don't know. I, is I didn't, she? No, there's definitely well, no, a she I don't know what it is. You can't ride a horse to water or something? <laughs> Teach a man to fish and he'll fly i don't know (laughs) uh yeah good times though good times Uh, good Mm -hmm. for her i suppose yeah Yeah. another year that's big that's huge in hollywood oh that's always big in hollywood you don't want to age in hollywood right no that's bad yeah then you won't be around for the when the hunger games comes back or whatever and they remake it you won't be able to get that role again it would be it would suck she's gonna stay young Nah, they'll oh, remake God. it, and they'll do what the they always do, the old Spock, where it, it'll be a remake, but, like, Katniss is a new actor, and then Jennifer Lawrence shows up as, like, a 40-year-old woman and goes, You know, I used to be in the Hunger Games like you. I'm Jennifer Lawrence. It'll be great. True. Like the Terminator. The yeah. Last, was it the last Terminator movie where um the main actress was back? I forget her name, too. Sarah Connor, yeah. To be fair, though, she was the main yeah, character in that movie, though. Yeah. Well, sort of. Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, is, Jennifer Lawrence is too. Is she though. the main character? And yeah. Yeah. I well, no, so. I mean in this in this potential future sequel. She'll be like Spock was in a Star Trek. Yeah, like a where, cameo. Yeah, cameo who's oh. like, ah, I recognize you, Katniss. I I too was Katniss or some shit. Whatever. What? <laughs> the Katniss that burns at two ends. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're hungry too, and in the games. <laughs> <laughs> has, oh my has, god, Jackson! You—it's been Affleck's birthday too, bro. What oh, the fuck is wrong with you? 
Ben Affleck. Oh, but fuck I, you. I don't, I don't know if he has a post of these nudes. Yeah, or how these nudes leaked. We haven't uh, seen his cock yet. Don't you guys... Isn't Ben Affleck, th- like, perpetually in and out of rehab or something? Oh, they all are. Come on. You can't, you can't be That's in funny. Hollywood at the moment or ever without having <laughs> uh, a frequent visa to the nearest I think uh, I think with Ben clinic. Affleck it was he gained a fuckload of weight and like he constantly is seen eating Dunkin Donuts and shit yeah Dunkin oh, Donuts so what thing. so yeah. what let it let him live his life let him be fat who cares if Hollywood people get fat Jesus Christ this let, let him eat let they him do. eat their donuts Jackson you can't be you can't be fat Batman okay the director Batman. cares Although I kind of no, want to see a fat a, Batman it, now. That'd be cool. <laughs> it's literally his job to not be fat. So a lot of people care. No, his you, job could be playing fat roles. <laughs> he transitions well, away from like the handsome characters <laughs> to the fat characters. Yeah. To, to Kevin James's role. <laughs> Have you guys seen what he Kevin looks James. like recently? He looks kind of like uh, Tim Allen in the Santa Claus movies when he steals the coat. Oh, God. Who? Who? Oh, no. Ben Affleck. No. Nah. Oh, he looks like he's doing a like transformation. A photo? I'm just going. I, I was just looking up his birthday photos. <laughs> oh. No, I've not seen that. Have you guys like you guys ever watch a movie that is so bad it leaves an impression on how bad it is? And you, uh, I, my buddies and I, we watched Tusk. In the last few days. Um... Tusk is a movie by Kevin James who should be tried and convicted of his crimes against mankind for that movie. Do you guys know this movie? I've seen the trailer. I remember when it it. came out. It's so bad. The premise is really, really funny, but it is so bad. It's about a guy who goes uh, abroad to some older dude's house and then he gets like mutilated and amputated and he gets turned into a literal walrus. And it sounds funny. Like, oh, you're going to sue this guy into a literal walrus and you're going to make him like bellow like a walrus <laughs> and make him eat fish. That's fucking that could either be super duper horrif- horrifying, right? Like a horror movie or super duper funny. It was neither. It was so bad. Oh, did I say Kevin James? Sorry. Yeah, it's Kevin, Kevin Smith. Smith made yeah, this Kevin movie. Smith. Oh, my apologies. comic okay, my, book guy my, Kevin Smith, right? Yeah. Yeah, I fucking I hate like that Kevin guy. James. No offense to Kevin James. I hate Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith is fucking... Is it yeah, Kevin, Kevin Smith writing, fucking blows ass. He's terrible. He's he really, really bad writer. Does. It's so awful. And it's kind of funny because I asked Doug, because I know that Doug's a big uh, Kevin, J- uh, Kevin Smith fan from back... Uh, the Jay and Silent Bob, I think it is. Clarice, mm-hmm. yeah. Like he really used to enjoy that. And I asked him, so what the fuck, bro? Like, this guy sucks ass. Why do you like him at all? And uh, yeah, Duck told me, dude, he changed at some point. I don't know what the fuck happened either. He turned into this giant, just like social justice pussy bitch and his writing took a nosedive. Apparently they had his best friend on to ask what the fuck happens, but they all they got was non-answers. It was, it's truly awful. Don't ever. If anybody ever suggests you watch Tusk, don't. Even though it sounds awesome, don't fall for it. Okay, wait. So do you... Is the movie actually bad or do you just hate this guy f- because of his tweets or something? No, no, no. No, the movie is actually really, really bad. I don't know anything about Kevin Smith. I didn't even know he wrote this movie until I googled who the fuck wrote this awful movie. Right? I may have been slightly biased because the movie features Justin Long and I fucking hate oh, Justin man, Long hate Justin too. Long. He's a stupid yeah. douchebag. For those who don't know, Justin Long is the fucking prick from the very, very <laughs> old Mac versus PC commercials. <laughs> where that's why you the hate PC him. guy came in <laughs> like, that's where that oh, came from. I'm, I don't know how to turn on my computer. Duh, it's not working. Uh. And then Justin Long would come in going, Hey, man, I'm a Mac. Everything just works. With that passionate how, you were about it, I thought he's like stole your first girlfriend or something. No, it just, I had to listen to his podcast to review it on WATP, on Who Are These Podcasts, and it is an insufferable podcast where he'll have a literal rape victim interviewing her. And his question is, what's your favorite emoji? I hate him so much. He's insufferable. Wait, that's really fucked up. What? 
Jesus Christ. We don't, we, wait, we don't know that it's he's fucked up. Maybe they're, maybe they're friends or something. I don't know. Maybe They're not he's friends. The he's just a typical... No, I hate Justin Long. Go listen to the episode yourselves if you uh, fucking care. It's, it's called This Is Life Is Short with Justin Long. I hate him. So he's insufferable. Uh, he's in the movie. His acting is insufferable. Half the time, all the... <laughs> <laughs> half the wait. movie, I swear to God, is the camera zooming in on his face with his pedophile mustache... And him peeing. It's like him pissing at a urinal and the camera zooming in on his face as he's enjoying himself peeing. Wait, wait can, can I just confirm he had a rape victim on a podcast called Life is Short or something? That sounds extremely fucked up just even I from a conceptual know. standpoint. Her name was Fran Drescher. She's, um, she played the nanny on British television or some shit. Uh, and yeah, Fran, so she was, at some point, a man broke into her home, right? And tied up her husband and made him watch as he assaulted her. I think it actually oh, was too God. fuck. That's fucking awful. It, it's really fucking fucked up. But what I really, really, really got mad about was, at some point, Fran was telling the story and she was like, you know, uh... I saw a knife on the kitchen counter, and for a moment, I contemplated if I should fight back. You know, grab the knife and just charge at them and fight back. And Justin was like, oh, could you really do that, though? Plunge oh a knife God. into another human being? Like, that is not the fucking point. Like, she had to correct them. Like, no, that's not why I didn't do it, Justin. It was because they had guns, and I didn't <laughs> want to die. Yeah, Holy shit, fuck, it's not because you value the sanctity of this rapist's life, it's just because she was scared. Wow, Jesus. Oh, he makes me mad. He makes, he makes me mad. Did she leave the call or anything like that? Did she yeah, get I angry? Would've, I would have fucking left no. that, that podcast right then and there. What a <laughs> dumb fucking question. Holy okay, shit. He, well, here's the thing, Fran Drescher is kind of dumb too. She's a ditzy old lady. Who sounds like she's hopped up on Xanax and wine? So I don't think she even noticed how dumb he is. But it, it, it was—it's truly a, an insufferable podcast. And because I had to listen to it, I just—I am now biased against Justin Long, and he's in that movie, and his acting is awful, the writing is awful, everything about it is so terrible that even Rotten Tomatoes agrees. Like the audience and the critics both hate this goddamn movie. It's bad, bad. I've always it's such disliked- a funny premise. The Walrus movie? Yeah, real funny. Um, <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> I, <laughs> the premises, you have to admit it. Yeah, some guy gets turned into a walrus. Pretty cool. Yeah. I, I've always hated <laughs> Justin Long because of his role in uh, Jeepers Creepers. You guys remember that movie? Surely I do remember that movie. Did you guys I know don't. that the uh, director for that was like one of the biggest pedophiles in Hollywood? And so I've always connected him with Justin Long. Victor reckon, Salva? Yeah, yeah. He was like actually, uh, he was actually convicted of sexually abusing children and possessing like, you know, child pornography and all that stuff before before he got hired to do Jeepers Creepers. So Jeepers Creepers was in 2001 and he was convicted in like 1990, I think. So this was like one oh, wow. big example to me of like Hollywood actually just you know, endorse, well, not endorsing, but giving jobs and roles to, like, actual pedophiles. It's pretty crazy. Oh, okay. So Jesus. I, yeah, I mean, I was going to say you can't judge Justin Long just because he worked on a movie with the guy, but, yeah, you're right, this happened, like, it, in 1988, Selva yeah. was convicted of sexual misconduct with one of Clown House's underage stars who was 12 years old ah, at the Clown time. Clown House, yes, the reputable brand. Good lord. I have no idea what clown house is. <laughs> um, and he videotaped the encounter. Commercial videotapes and magazines containing child pornography were also found in his home. What? Commercial? He was selling them, maybe? I don't what? know. Commercial videotapes and magazines containing child pornography were also found in his home. Is there like a black market for this? In yeah, Hollywood, I, bet, yeah. I bet they trade that shit around in Hollywood. Yeah, it's like door-to-door salesmen yeah, yeah. for child pornography. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> door-to-door. Yeah, so in summary, fuck Justin Long and fuck Kevin Smith. Wait, How did, dare you? Did Victor Salva also play the Creeper in Jeepers Creepers? I don't think so. Did he? he he's credited as the Creeper. 
No, that's John, apparently Jonathan Breck. I'm looking they're at right both, now. They're the both credited as the creeper. Oh, he's here. victim of. No, Charlie. On Wikipedia, it says Victor Selva as victim of the creeper. Ah, uh, so it's okay. just a cameo, like they, Stanley. They, it must be a typo then. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he de he definitely wasn't in uh, the movie, as far as I remember. Like maybe he was a dead body or something. Okay. Yeah, I, I think know. that's what it is. But you I just know, remember. I think... Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, go yeah. ahead, Jackson. No, tell me, tell me about whatever you want to tell me about Andrew. I, well, I was gonna, I was gonna say, I think maybe me undies might be the most comfortable underwear I've ever worn, and then I was gonna apologize for that being off topic. But at the same time, I just had to say it. You know, I've been holding it in this whole fucking episode. Do you, do you guys mind if I take maybe two, two and a half minutes to talk about it real quick? No, you can take 45 yes. minutes as long as I'm concerned. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, me undies are designed to be the softest thing on the, well, you know, planet. Baby bottoms? Uh, yeah. They're old news. Me undies signature micro modal fabric literally grows from trees, making their undies not only super soft, but also sustainable. They offer different cuts because they get, they just get it. We've all got different butts. So we're going to need to check out their undies, <laughs> socks, loungewear, anything ranging from extra small to 4XL. Me Undies has a great offer for anyone listening right now. That includes you and you, not you, but you as well. For any first time purchasers, you can get 15% off and free shipping. They also have a problem free philosophy. That's the Hakuna Matata mantra. That's a very famous <laughs> mantra passed down through politics for generations if you're not satisfied with any product for any reason they will refund it or exchange it no caveats no questions to get 15 percent off of your first order free shipping and 100 percent satisfaction guarantee go to meundies.com slash official that's meundies.com slash official all four of us wear me undies my girlfriend also wears me undies they make it for women don't be shy Whatever type of underwear you want to wear, they've got it. So go check it out. They got matching pairs, in fact. They do. Yeah. You can be cute like that. Yeah. We should all wear the same pair. Of, well, not the same pair. Who but says we're not? Pairs. <laughs> 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 yeah, maybe we're matching right Pass now. Pass it I'm, around. I'm wearing the cow print. Anyone wearing oh. cow? Oh, what I'm are you wearing, wearing regular black? Mine's yeah, mine's standard black. Hey, all right, we're two, we're two for four. Oh, Jackson, oh. I'm wearing burgers. Oh, Damn. burgers Almost. and fries, baby. So we'll close. coordinate with next week. We'll figure it out. Yeah, Surely it's possible. So I would love to backpedal on topic because my topic was actually about Kevin Smith. Oh, um, wait, really? what are like, the odds? Yeah, yeah what, like, what are the odds? Holy uh, shit. It pretty pretty much is about how Kevin Smith fucking sucks dick. So <laughs> he sucks so much. He's how he's a terrible, <laughs> terrible writer and director. So Kevin Smith found his niche back when he started on being like the counterculture director that went big because he made like clerks and mall rats. And the whole point was he was like, oh, my movies are about this like generation of people who don't give a fuck, man. And we're just I was hanging out say, and real. Not not to interrupt yeah. you, but to help your point. Like Doug, when I asked him, he kept sending me these clerk clerks clips, and they were funny. Like these are okay. This is a funny scene. So what the fuck happened, Andrew? Like, what? How did he go from that to Tusk? Oh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So he started out as that director doing these like movies for like the generation of like, oh, we're slackers, and uh, this is you know things that we talk about when we're just fucking around, and isn't that funny? And it was okay. Like Clerks has the occasional good line and fucking Mall Rats has the occasional good line. But then he leaned harder into 90s and like 2000s comedy where it was like wacky and silly. Jay and Silent Bob, for example. And those were fine. Like, you know, Dogma is a pretty good movie. But then in recent times, he's really been jumping on... I don't know what to call it, but he's been hopping up and down on the bed of trying to be like counterintuitive and playing it off as really fucking with the audience. And I'll give you the case in point and the big thing I wanted to talk about. Have you guys seen the new He-Man cartoon? I figured someone no. was going to bring that up. That's yeah. apparently really bad. 
so He-Man has gotten a new reboot on Netflix, and it's run by Kevin Smith, who in interviews was literally like, oh, I'm going to do new things with He-Man and really revitalize the show and make it interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and give spoilers for season one. He-Man dies in the first episode, and the rest of the That's entire show cool. is not about He-Man at all. Who's it about? What? Random side characters. That's pretty Why? cool. And his, his logic and argument is He-Man himself is boring and was always a boring show. And I think women are interesting. And that was his actual argument defending his decision. Uh, no fucking way. No That's exactly what he said. Way. He responded to Twitter rants and he was like, women were always in He-Man and the forefront of it. And it sounds like you guys just hate uh, women when most people are complaining, no, I'm watching He-Man and you killed off He-Man in episode one. And he's literally not in the rest of the show. He, he took fucking he, he took fucking He-Man <laughs> and made it a show without He-Man in it and just killed him off. And it, oh, God, he's such a terrible, terrible writer. Oh, boy. Oh my God. Is he is. He, all right. I'm not going to besmirch the name of uh, what's his name? Kevin Smith. Kevin James. Which one is Kevin he? Smith? I don't know. Which, don't, don't besmirch yeah. Kevin, Kevin James. Smith. Kevin James, Kevin James, is, James great. is great. Kevin James oh, is great. Yes. Kevin Smith. Fucking I've never sucks. liked anyone named Kevin. Fuck Evans. Um, yeah. uh, is no, he, not, does not this, James. Does this guy have like sexual harassment claims out, out about him because he sounds like the type <laughs> that would? <laughs> no, not to my knowledge, and we are not alleging anything. Please don't sue us. <laughs> God. I'm just waiting. I've been trying to get sued on this podcast for like six weeks now. It's coming. What the fuck is it with you? I'm like you're alleging well. fucked up shit about people. At some point, you are going to so, get us sued. So I'll, I'll read this quote from him. He, he posted this. He said, I know there's some people that are like, hey, this show is woke as fuck. And I'm like, all right, great. Then so was the original cartoon we're fucking sequelizing. Go watch it again. There are girls in every episode. Deal with it. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, there were women in He-Man. You know who else was in He-Man? He-Man. <laughs> yeah, but he was James the worst James part of He-Man. Show... <laughs> I know. Did Kevin James say that? The show was woke Kevin as Smith. fuck? Kevin Jesus. Smith. Kevin Smith. Uh, Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith. Fuck. Yeah, he said that. It's hard. Yeah. Kevin Smith. Sorry. That is so awful. Yeah. He should just start being more like Kevin James. Kevin James, for those who don't know, he's the tubby guy from King of Queens. And that's the show where I originally uh, knew him from. And he's super fucking. It's amazing. He's like the archetypical fat guy who's with a woman way out of his league character in every movie and show that he's in. And it's super adorable to watch. It is. <laughs> his, um, we also watched... Here Comes the Boom, I think the movie is called, where Kevin James is a teacher who has to become an MMA fighter to keep the music program at his school going. And it's fucking fun. He's a you fun gotta, guy. You gotta remind the 12-year-old like audience who's listening who he is, Kaya. He's Paul Blart Mall Cop. That's where they're oh, yes. He's also Paul Blart he Mall is, Cop and... He is Paul Blart. Yeah, he's Paul right. Blart. Why did well, you say that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't call him Kevin. Call him Paul. Come on. <laughs> Ah. Mr. Blart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's way easy to distinguish between Blart Man and this guy. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> Blart Man? Kevin Smith. <laughs> Kevin, Smith. Okay, Kevin Smith is the cringe woke man. Kevin James is the based dating uh, the cute Scientologist hottie man. Why are so many Kevins? There's two. There's two Kevins, Jackson. No, you think of Kevin Bacon too. There's oh so yeah, many. there's Kevin, Kevin Spacey too. There's a lot of Kevins <laughs> Kevin in Hollywood. It's almost as if Kevin's Kevin a, a, a popular and regular name. I don't know. Kevin Costner. Uh, I can't think oh, of yeah. a, a single person who's not named Kevin. Yeah. Oh, All right. Boy. I just want to. So, I want to clarify. I looked into it a bit more. Uh, I'm taking back my accusations towards Kevin Smith about sexual harassment. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't seem like there were any claims made towards him. I, I thought like I saw a a tweet or a thread or something in the past about it, but no, it appears that I he's would safe. Not. 
That's I would love to read another okay, Kevin Jackson. Smith quote on this, if you don't mind. Yes, please. He said, he said, it's been interesting seeing who truly is a hardcore fan because anybody that's like, oh man, there's not enough He-Man or something like that doesn't understand the show that we based it on. There were episodes oh where he lost the God. sword and never became He-Man. It wasn't like He-Man always saved the day. His friends helped him. That was the fucking point of the show. Right. You know what else is uh, the point of the show? He-Man was a regular cast member and did things in his own fucking show. Well, the, the point of the show, it's a show called <laughs> He-Man that I was know. meant to sell a toy called He-Man. That's also true. Is, I was going to bring that so up. Called he so if you guys don't know it's the not, history of He-Man, if, if you guys don't know the history of He-Man, by the way, He-Man was made up on the spot. Did you guys know that? Uh -uh. Probably. So the people who made He-Man, it was originally going to be a toy line. It's one of the rare cases where the toys came before the cartoon. And the people who were going to pitch it, they realized that what they had wasn't good enough and it sucked. So they literally made up a new story with it on the spot and pitched it and they loved it and made toys out of it. So Kevin Smith is getting so super fucking big on this show where he's like, oh, it's about the friends and saving the day. It's like, no, it was fucking put together with rubber bands and duct tape from day one. And wait, it was whoa, always whoa, about He-Man being He-Man. It can be made up on the spot and he still be correct that like that's what it's about. At the right. End of the day. But what he's what he's no. trying to describe is like it's this big. Oh, it's not about He-Man. It's about the people around him and his experiences. And it's like, no, it was literally designed from the ground up to feature big, giant, strong, buff guy because that would sell toys. They the I watched a fucking thing where the guy who made the toys talked about how he designed like Skeletor and He-Man and all the other characters and he man's entire point was to be as like the epitome of a masculine barbarian and be the front man for the entire thing and immediately show strength and courage and all that shit it's insane to think he's so not the main focus of the show toys it's so yeah. jackson all he's saying is like this is, it's not that deep right it's a show to sell toys to little boys so like rowdy rough tough men that's it it's not about how women were originally the the real sidekicks and the real heroes of the story. And there's a deeper understanding of it. You know, if you read Nietzsche, you'll see that, you know, the underlying story of the arc. No, it's just so from it's what I understand, what I understand, this is this isn't called He-Man anymore, right? Yeah, it's just called Masters of the Universe. Well, then they can so, do whatever the fuck they want, really. Well, I was going to ask, Andrew, did you watch the whole series? No, not the new series, but I watched a lot of old He-Man. Okay, well, okay. So, well, I was going to ask then, do the new characters make up for the lack of He-Man? Because maybe from, the new characters are more interesting. From what I've yeah. read in reviews and like critiques, they become cookie cutter, shallow, one dimensional characters. So apparently that part is not even good. Because it, so. it is not, it is literally not called He-Man anymore. Yeah. It's pretty much a mm. He-Man spinoff. Hmm. I did Plus, not know that. Why? Why is it so important that they just make He Man the exact same He Man twenty, thirty years later? Like well, that I think, product already exists, and I you're, think you that said what people are you upset said it, about, it existed but, as a product advertisement anyway. So I don't see the value of re well, just I think I think what people is. are upset about is a bait and switch, Jackson, because He Man is in all the promotional material and he's in the trailer. And they pretty much marketed it as, hey, He-Man and Masters of the Universe is coming back, not just Masters of the Universe, you know? Like you Except can, the audience, you can, audience in 9 out of 10 cases is fucking stupid. It sounds like <laughs> for all of Kevin Smith's faults or whatever, like the sexual harassment claims that I just debunked, um, <laughs> for all of his faults to and stuff. To be fair... Wait, no, sure, sure. For all of his faults and stuff, it sounds like he did go out of his way to insult the audience and tell them exactly what to expect. Like he said, but he only he, did that he after said, the like, fact. He, oh, after the fact. Yeah, after the fact. So after in Jackson's out. defense, Jackson, eventually your allegations will come true. He is a male feminist. Eventually, there will be a rape. It always okay. happens. All right, every single time. <laughs> Glad to hear that. <laughs> It's unfortunate, but male feminists, they are predators. It, w it happens. But yeah, it's, it's a bait and switch. Like, think of it this way. Think of it this way, Jackson. If you made a new Justice League cartoon and like... How'd you know I am? 
How do you know I'm not? I mean, <laughs> fuck that up. So imagine, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me specify it a bit better. What if you imagine you made a Batman cartoon and you called it The Dark Knight, right? It was just called The Dark Knight and you promote it and you showed Batman and you showed Robin, the joke and this and that. And then in the first episode, Batman is dead and the entire show is about Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. yeah, that could be good, but that's not the Dark Knight. That's not what people wanted or expected when you, you know, talked about it and hyped it up. Yeah, I just, I wouldn't be like overwhelmingly yeah, disappointed and angry online, though. I just don't get being angry about stuff like this. I just, it, it exists. I, it doesn't intrude its way into my life. I can just ignore it and wait for whatever product I want to consume. Well, you also got to remember, this is like outside of... I don't know if it's related. She-Ra, I think She-Ra is unrelated, just the same like creator and studio and shit. But you got to remember, this is the first He-Man property in a long, long time, especially one that potentially had a big budget and didn't suck ass. The animation looks good. I think yeah. I, I'd probably have to watch it, but I think there would have been a chance if the characters are good for the show to be fine. But to mm. be fair, in it, every single trailer, the cover is He-Man, so it is exactly. It's pretty misleading if he dies in episode one and never comes back. Are we one hundred percent sure that, it, like, you said yeah. you haven't watched it? Charlie. Does he actually die within the first episode and then he's never shown again? Yes. Okay. It it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. If Kevin Smith had anything to do with the <laughs> show, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Don't bother, don't give it a chance, like don't here, give it the I'll, light of I'll day. Post, I'll post this in the chat, but we can talk about it. It's God, it's a tiny picture. The fucking key art poster on Netflix features He-Man front and center, surrounded by every other character. He is literally like a third of the poster. And he dies in episode one and never comes back. Like, it's, it's false okay, advertising, it, it really is. It, it, yes, it may be, but it is still an honest picture because that still has a Netflix logo on it. And here's the thing. When I browse Netflix, if I see the red N logo on any yeah. of the it's thumbnails, like I sign. immediately assume <laughs> low quality bullshit. Mm -hmm. I go, oh, this it, was made by Netflix. Oh, this got to suck. Yeah, this must be it's, awful. <laughs> it's like how like uh, poisonous frogs out in the wild are colored differently. As soon as you see <laughs> yeah. you know, red Netflix, you know. You know, you're about to be poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> there are exceptions like Better Call Saul and whatnot, but still, it, it's not. I wouldn't expect <laughs> a whole lot from, you know, any movie that has the red Netflix N on it. Ooh, I do expect, actually, however, a lot from Honey. Oh. Ah, Andrew, yes, no? I was not ready. <laughs> okay. But I'm ready <laughs> now, thanks to Honey. I mean, we all shop online. We've all seen promo code fields. We've all said, God damn it. If only I had a promo code. You don't need it. Just thanks to Honey. Manually searching for them and remembering them and copying and pasting them? Uh-uh. You don't need it. You don't need to do that. Because if you've got Honey, you'll have a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best ones to your cart, supporting over 30,000 stores online. I mean, picture this hypothetical scenario. This is probably a wild and crazy thing that could happen, but imagine you're shopping at one of your favorite sites and you go to the checkout and you say, boy, I'd love to save some free money right now. I have to check out this cart that I have full of my pizza rolls and, and prescription pants. Well, guess what? With Honey, it'll find you a working coupon and you'll watch your prices drop. I mean, I've been buying a lot of tech shit for my streams lately. Literally redid my entire setup, and the amount of money that Honey saved me, it's, it's fucking significant. I'll tell you that much. Anyhow, Honey has found over 17 million members, over $2 billion in savings. And Whoa. if you don't already have Honey, you could be Holy straight shit. up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. You want to support this podcast, don't you? Do you want us to be on the street burning tin cans for fire? No, because tin cans don't burn, idiot. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash official. That's joinhoney.com slash official. Hey, Andrew, a few questions. Yes. Number one, do tin cans actually not burn? I mean, they're metal. Probably not. 
Yeah, that, I mean, yeah. I, if you if you get it hot enough, surely they like melt at least. You're not going to get it hot enough with a regular fire, though. Okay, fair, fair. Yeah. Uh, you might, but okay. but not with like a just a zippo. Yeah. I think you're literally a cuck if you don't use honey. Damn! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> That's bold. That That's should be there. Wow. Wow. Promotion line. <laughs> wow, we. <laughs> Well, think about it. It's it's free. This is part of the ad, by the way. You, it's free, and you save money. So, you, if if you don't use honey, you're going out of your way to give corporations more money. Yeah. Fucking losers. <laughs> I mean, there's really there's actually just no reason not to use it. Like it. It's free fucking money. What else we got, Charlie? You got a topic, Charlie? It's your turn. I don't. Uh... I thought I had. Oh, Charlie! I'm to I know what you should talk about. I know what huh. you should talk about. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I saw you stream uh, the other day. You you were streaming about the blue box conspiracy. I think. Oh yeah, we can talk about. Blue I think box. this is the perfect. Yeah, this is the perfect opportunity to. Yeah, I've to seen that floating box. around Twitter, but I don't know at all what's happening. So oh, like, fill me in from the beginning. Such, it's such a wild ride. It's, it's such a. Going on I know nothing. So yeah, start it's from the such top. a weird ride. Jackson told me about it as it was developing. I don't remember if you like believed it or not, but it was like a group of Redditors started connecting these dots with this new studio announcement called Blue Box, talking about how they have a big game coming out that starts with an S and ends with an L. Now oh. all these like interesting hints and Easter eggs and coincidences where like the main guy behind Blue Box, his name is Hassan Kar- Karan Karman, which translates from Turkish to Hideo in Japanese, which means hero. <laughs> So they started coming up with all of these. Wait, what? what? Karaman? It's like Karaman or something like that. Something like that. Karaman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it translates to Hideo in Japanese. So then everyone was like, oh, this is suspicious. It must be Silent Hill. Blue Box is making Silent Hill. And then Hideo Kojima, I think, even made like a vague tweet at Blue Box or something. <laughs> Their YouTube banner had the hills well, on yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. To, to be fair, uh, when I was first watching it all develop, I was leaning towards like believing it because Hideo Kojima has had a history of like these kinds of stunts, especially when ramping mm-hmm. up for a new game. Like it, he's actually done this exact thing he has. in the past. I, when, I forget um, for which game. I when think Metal Gear PT. Solid 5 was coming out, no, the yeah, original trailers were marketed under Moby Dick Studios, which was yeah, a completely exactly. fake game company <laughs> that he made up. And he had, yeah. a, he had a, like a, a, he hired a random guy to be yep. the Yeah, he hired an actor to media. portray, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was, it was really interesting. So I wasn't like I was maybe 60, 60, 40 on the side of believing that this uh, was potentially actually Hideo Kojima, uh, Kojima's next product. And that basically entirely because Sony didn't seem to like dispel rumors and they didn't they actually seem to be encouraging it almost because they gave this developer the ability to release this weird trailer app onto the PlayStation 5. Which, like, I, I don't think would have been easy for them to do. You're getting ahead of the story, Jackson. That's new. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. So, well, no, no, no they've, been, they've, been, they've been talking about the trailer app for months. True, but yeah, go true, on. but it just recently started to come out. But, uh, yeah, so Blue Box had been doing this for a while with the Twitter, uh, the Twitter hints and marketing that way. And then eventually they just came forward and said, look, we're not associated with Hideo Kojima. <laughs> we're not making Silent Hills. We're, we're sorry for misleading you. But by that you. point, we were in too deep. Yeah. That's exactly what Hideo Kojima would have said. That's he exactly said that right. They, that was more no, proof no. that it was Silent Hills. Yeah, to, yeah, to, be, fair, <laughs> to be fair to them, though, when, Meta, when Kojima put out the MGS5 trailer and it didn't say it was MGS5 and had like all the hints and stuff, people figured out it was MGS5 within hours. So this this whole thing might be a big stretch, but continue. MGS five Metal Gear Solid Solid. five. So after that, they were like, "Yeah, no, 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 we're not associated with Hideo Kojima." People obviously still didn't want to believe that, so they kept going, and Blue Box kept leaning into it. So they even posted (laughs) like a picture of a guy with an eye patch with the name "Abandoned" on it and stuff like that, using the same font as Metal Gear. So they kept trying their best to make people believe it was associated with silent hills and i want to say at that point when they started like leaning into it in 
like honestly like not subtle ways at all that's when i went 100 percent. this is fake <laughs> this yeah. is like now now this hang is on some a minute, fucking loser wait this is some kind of loser tr- using this to further publicity for his shitty like i don't know asset flip game why would they say the game started with an s and ended with an l if the game is called abandoned well, that's the so that's a code word they're using. Uh, oh. That's what people were claiming that it's called <laughs> abandoned, but it's not actually the name. It's Silent Hills. Oh. But it, so as this continued, people started digging into the past, the the past of Blue Box, and it goes mm-hmm. all the way back to 2015. From 2015 yeah. to 2019, they would try once a year to hype up a game only to never release it and abandon it. They did a Kickstarter (laughs) scam, which didn't work. They got money from investors and then never delivered the game. And then in 2020, they finally delivered their first complete game. It was called The Haunting blood curse of the water or something like yeah. that <laughs> and it you, didn't you might have you might have seen it at the uh, the game awards it was in the final <laughs> category for game of the year it it didn't work it was like a single open level where you it, it was fatal frame asset flip so you have a yeah. camera and you have a ghost that spawns and you can take pictures of the ghost and it goes ow and you can't <laughs> die like it actually can't hurt you because they didn't program it to so this was on Steam for like a little while, and then they sold it to another company, which took it off of Steam. They literally bought it just to get it off of Steam, so you can't buy it anymore. That is their only completed title in the from, six from, years they've, they've existed. From, so from what I understand, they uh, the game immediately got 100% like negative reviews, yeah. and so they they this studio, Blue Box or whatever, didn't want to work on it anymore. So they created a fake company called like Create Q Interactive. And Yo, then yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Used, they used that fake studio to then like, you know, push away blame onto this fake studio that they made to, to keep Blue Box pristine. Um, so then Create so, Q removed the game. Okay, so for those of us out of the loop, this studio has literally never ever created anything of any value, right. actually. Right. Wow. They have a history of scamming. Like li- they literally have a history of scams. In fact, yeah. Uh, to to be fair, we don't know it's a studio either. To me, it sounds like one man mm-hmm. who makes sh- shitty <laughs> asset flip mobile games. Yeah, and there's only one guy that even is associated with it, and that's the Hassan Karaman. But uh, as it progressed, he kept Blue Box kept hyping up like we have something big coming there's going to be a trailer and it's going to be an app on the ps5 so you'll download the app which will let you watch the in-engine trailer it's going to be revolutionary they're hyping that up for a while (laughs) and then they posted the very first clip of abandon which was a guy walking on a wood floor for i think it was four seconds and then that was on twitter and then they're like get ready for our huge trailer coming out tomorrow where you'll see everything on the PlayStation Five. On the well, PlayStation they were, they were hi- Five, app. they were hyping up oh, this just... trailer app for like two months too. Yeah, it was a while. By the way, it got I, I just like two had... times. I looked up his name. His name is Hassan Kahraman. That's very different from Karaman. Kahraman means hero. So this guy's name translates to Hassan Hero. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, yeah, cool. that's because Hideo's name translates to hero as well in Japanese. So he was trying. Oh, okay, sorry. I, yeah, he was trying to know. match. And then they're notorious for just pushing things back. Almost every single tweet is an apology for missing their deadlines that they keep putting on themselves. And then they delete the tweets. So they pushed it back like five days. They're like, they couldn't get it done. They kept saying they had technical glitches and errors, which they've done for every product they've ever had. And then I think it was two days ago, or actually, yeah, two days ago now, they finally released the app on the PS5. It was a five gigabyte download, and it was the same Twitter clip, but on the PS5. (laughs) It was the same two second clip of the guy walking. (laughs) Yep. Not a single new thing. (laughs) Holy shit. Did they charge money for that? Less than something like that. No, 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 of course not. Oh, but, damn. But I was going to say, what, they could have made bank off of this yeah, hype. Yeah, you know what was really sad, no. though? And I didn't know this. I don't even know if you know this, Jackson. People were so fucking invested. A guy streamed for three straight days, 72 hour stream, waiting for that app to drop. Oh, my God. Oh, you yep. no. Yep. You're, uh, so you're asking no for it at that they, point. Yeah, like it, so I'm on his Twitter now. I assume this is his Twitter, Hassan E. Kahraman. And his profile picture is. It, it looks like he was trying to rip off that Chad meme, the black and white Chad meme, but in color, and he's in a car. 
He also has a couple of videos that's where he's like, my development team is so upset with everything that's happening. <laughs> We're trying our mm. best. She's multiple personalities that he's talking <laughs> about. <laughs> 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 oh God! You, you you didn't even specify earlier that thing you were talking about where they marketed it with uh, the Metal Gear Solid font and a man with an eye patch. That's yeah. that's fucking Snake from Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. that's the actual character. That's not like a random guy with an eye patch. That's the actual big boss from Metal Gear Solid. Actually, Andrew, they decrypted that image. It is a stock Unity asset. What? The, it looks yep. just like him. I know it's supposed well, to yeah, look that's like the him. Point. Yeah, oh, it's supposed that's to. That's funny. Holy shit. Yeah. I, I just, I don't understand why, like, this is clearly not something that's going to release in any meaningful way. So where's the scam here? I, I don't understand how this guy is planning to make his money. I don't, I really feel like it's just a troll, like, scamming people's time. Like, but, but he's been doing it since 2015. Yeah, I, so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have a timeline here. They the have only guy whose time's wasted is his own. <laughs> I, have a, I have a timeline here. They have announced a horror game called Rewind that yep. is currently on halt and never released. That's they 2015, announced, 2015. Yeah, 2015, again, they have a PC exclusive horror game, The Lost Tape, which never came out, and the website for it was deleted. In 2017, <laughs> they announced The Whisperer, which never came out. In 2018, <laughs> they announced a multiplayer horror game called Unseen Faces, which never came out. In 2019, they released a <laughs> broken mobile app called Tales of the Six Swords, which had stolen anime character art in the icons for it. It was also removed from the out? app store. It was, but it oh. was removed from the app store <laughs> for being non-functioning. Um, in 2020, they released a horror game called The Haunting on Early Access, which has 100% yeah. negative reviews, and it was you so bet. bad that you can no longer buy it. They planned a big update for it that was never released, and now here we are in 2021 with Abandoned. Now, call me a conspiracy nut job, but this sounds like Hideo Kojima to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unseen Faces was my favorite Kojima game. Yeah. That's what I thought. Imagine how big brain it would be if he started this studio just to have six years of fucking failed projects. So that way, when it's like absolutely in its dog shittiest, he releases a banger. Silent oh, Hills. Oh, man, I'm ready. <laughs> I mean, it, it depends on the character names. Are, are any of the characters named like Blood Clot Tampon? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> are you <laughs> telling me you like don't that? like Die Hard Man? Come die on. Die Hard Man is a classic. <laughs> and Hot Cold Man? I'm They're just the best. looking for clues. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. This is, this is wild. I love this. I didn't know how I deep it went. So I was really surprised. It was really interesting. Yeah, it's been I've been following it kind of passively over the last like three months, kind of seeing the updates and stuff. And I gave up uh, like I didn't believe that it was Hideo Kojima after maybe like the second week just because of how he reacted to the um, to the exposure. Uh, so I, I haven't been invested in that way. But seeing people's reactions now is just so disconcerting, like how what uh, I, don't, I don't know how you could believe that this is Hideo Kojima anymore and still be so angry that it isn't as well. <laughs> like, people are genuinely, <laughs> like... They're genuinely so angry, and it's sad. Aww. It's so sad. Even fucking it's, Jeff Keighley tweeted about this. Yeah. God, Dorito I mean, Pope himself. I, I'm not a traitor or a snitch, but Turkish people are kind of scoundrels, you know? <laughs> When you see a Turkish name attached to a project, <laughs> there should be a little bit of uh, doubt. <laughs> well, the guy behind the project is most likely not actually Hassan Kar Karaman. Like, it's very, very likely that it's a completely different person that's using, like, an actor as a proxy and just trying to Possibly. scam here. But why a Turkish actor and Hassan Kahraman is not really a name you would come Kahr up with when you're because it translates to, to, Hideo. to, to, to Hideo Kojima. I, I guarantee they just looked for anything that translated directly to Hideo, and that was the only thing that came up. Mm, maybe. Yeah, maybe you're right. Still, you should be suspicious when there's any Turks 
<laughs> even possibly involved. What's wild to me is there's still a lot of people that believe that this is Silent Hills. Like, I'm reading some YouTube comments on a guy who's saying, like, this confirmed it's Silent Hill. It's <laughs> like, I, I don't know how delusional you have to be. They to believe what they want that. to believe. Yeah. I know, but like, e even when they're getting spit on by the actual company, literally just getting, <laughs> like, abused by them and still believing nonsense. I don't, I don't know how you get to that point. Such a shame. Desperation. Yeah. But who's that desperate for more Kojima? Like, like who can... Oh, what? Well, well, let's not get uh, crazy. Yeah. One of the most beloved video game yeah. developers oh, okay. yeah. of all time. Yeah. I've, who, I forgot. I every forgot. single game he's ever made has been a massive hit as well. I True. mean... It's just Death Stranding, I, I, I guess. Yeah. I fucking... He's yeah. worse. I hate... I, got I hate the fair shit. I hate the fan, like, uh, admiration for Hideo Kojima because that <laughs> implies that all of his video games are just entirely made by him. Fuck the talented teams behind him as well. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. <laughs> yeah, they can suck my dick, Jackson. It's all Kojima in a fucking little lab hopped up on Red Bull. I bet Kojima just Did goes to these video game studios and, and smokes blunts out the back wall like these actual video <laughs> game developers. Well, according to Kojima himself, he takes a two-hour lunch every day to watch a movie, so... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually... He seems like the kind of artist that would be pretty difficult to work with, I think. Yeah, oh, so no shit. Just, Kojima's obsessed no with shit, movies. because it's he has to be sniffing his own farts. Kojima's oh, well, obsessed no, I just with movies. I don't, I don't speak Japanese. That's it's why. why a lot of his games are like, not ripoffs of movies, but just really, really close homages. And he mentioned in an interview that every day he's working, he will watch a different movie during his lunch break for inspiration. <laughs> so, That's yeah. so crazy. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Yeah, see, if I was Did Konami, I would have I would have gotten out of that. <laughs> I would have like, okay, fired him too, 100%. Get the fuck out of uh, here. Be, being, I mean, look, but put yourself in his shoes. Like, millions of Redditors worship your dick. Yeah. Your ball sweat. Because of a shitty fucking game that you made or something. All right. Uh, well, they I, were I good can't games. even blame him. That's, the games were good games. up until Death Shut Stranding. Up. Yeah, I agree. I even either, even people don't, don't, like Death Stranding. Don't, don't go there. They, they are pretending. Wait, I didn't, <laughs> don't I didn't go like it. I uh, hate it. Thank you. Wait, what? Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I hated Death Stranding what? before you did, Charlie. I was pretty sure you defended Death Stranding. I defended everything but something. the actual game. I love the movie Death Stranding. <laughs> 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 That's what I've always said. Hideo Kojima should just be like a, a film director. Clearly he wants to if he's watching three hour movies on his lunch breaks. You should just get into the film. Just start making movies. I agree. It, he, well, that's what he wants Death, to do, yeah. yeah Death Stranding was some well, just dog do it shit then. as a game. It's the worst gameplay I've ever fucking experienced, but I really enjoyed everything that wasn't playing that game. Hey, he Andrew, did just you have some magic spoon and chill the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's only 140 calories, it? you son of a bitch. Yeah. Oh, well, now that I've gotten started, I can't fucking stop. I mean, Magic Spoon, <laughs> what do I have to say? It's delicious. It's an actual yummy, tasty cereal. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, and only four That's net so grams of carbs in each serving. 140 calories. It's actually amazing. They have so many flavors. They have had they had cookies and cream and maple waffle Ooh. as like temporary try flavors. Now they're back permanently because they were so popular. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. They have cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, and cinnamon ah. and blueberry that you can try ah. limited time. But they're seriously good. I have tried each and every goddamn flavor of Magic Spoon, and I have never once had one I didn't like. It's insane. The fruity flavor is better than Fruit Loops. The frosted flavor is better than Frosted Flakes. It is crazy how good these fucking things are. Charlie, you've had it, right? Yeah, fruity is my favorite one. Yeah, they're all really legitimately amazing. They are, I eat it all the fucking time. I love Magic Spoon. Please eat it. It's very, very good. And it's got good nutritional facts. It looks nice. You'll read those macros. You go, holy shit, this is pretty solid. You can click the link in the podcast description to get some magic spoon today or you can be a cool guy build your own variety box and use code official for five dollars off 
You can choose from the best-selling cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, cookies, and cream, and maple waffle, or currently try new flavors, blueberry and cinnamon. Magic Spoon is so confident that you'll get 100% happiness guarantee, so if you don't like it, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Go to magicspoon.com slash official. God, I'm lispy today. Magicspoon.com slash official to save $5 off on your order. If you're in Canada, they are also now shipping to Canada. So Woo. I get it. You don't have as much freedom as us Americans. You're probably scared that we're going to rule <laughs> the world very soon. I understand. <laughs> but until that day comes, you can eat some goddamn Magic Spoon because it's so good. I love Magic Spoon so much. Please eat it. Magicspoon.com slash official for $5 off. You can pick your flavors in your box. You don't oh. have to just get like a sample or variety pack. You can pick which ones you get. Oh my God, it's great. Try it. It's Magic Spoon. Jackson's, it's Jackson's ad tip of the day. For the best way to consume cereal, I recommend drinking the milk afterwards because it tastes delicious <laughs> when all the flavors are no fused into the milk. <laughs> so if you're, not, if you're only eating the cereal and leaving the milk, you're doing it wrong. Drink the milk. It's good. Aww. Seriously, this shit tastes just as good as like that sugary childhood cereal, but it's better for you. It's I fucking love Magic Spoon. I can't get over it. It's amazing. Isn't it one of the most nostalgic things? Like drinking the milk out of the bowl yeah. afterwards. Yeah. I actually so, didn't like doing that. I, yeah, what I what? do is I, in order to, like when I finish my first bowl and there's still milk left over, I just put more cereal in it till I'm done with that milk. I just, yeah, yeah, me too. But then no. I also put in more milk. <laughs> oh, you, what the fuck? It's like Ouroboros. No, you just you have to keep the milk the same. <laughs> Wait, you, you, you guys just don't drink the milk? cereal is so good. When I was a kid, I hated drinking the milk. I just, uh, I didn't like Why? it. But the now I like it. What? Because the I was stupid. Yeah. Yeah. So good. I was dumb. Like a, I didn't know things. I didn't know how the universe worked or uh, what sex was. So I didn't drink the cereal milk. Yeah, but now I'm virgin, an adult, bro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, true. I forget. Now I'm an adult. Yeah. I understand the areas I of my ways. Now I love that, that fucking milk. Uh, isn't it crazy to think that we were once virgins? How fucking embarrassing! Oh my oh, god. god. <laughs> what do you mean oh, once? No. Ugh. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I think we there's, still act like virgins at least. There's people no, listening to the no. show that are still virgins. What I don't the think fuck? We do. No, that's not true. That's you not sure? True. There, yeah, I, that's I not actually true. think that virgin uh, insults, at the very least, are now a growing terror threat. Apparently, yeah. There are so many terror attacks recently attributed to insults. Like, it's not a joke anymore. It just happened in in Britain, right? Like, yeah, uh, the UK. Uh, the UK is unironically trying to ascertain whether incels are a terror threat. Like, they're actually having like parliamentary discussions about it. Good for them, those virgins. I think they are. What? Did, well, what happened? Do we I, don't, I don't know what happened. It was a it mass shooting in Britain. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's by an incel. I've also not looked into it. Jackson, do you have any info on no, this? No, I've just read the, um, you know, headlines. I think it just happened. Oh. Oh, yeah, two days ago. Yeah, I just looked it up. 22-year-old shot five people in Plymouth. He had a lot of, like, incel beliefs that he posted online or something. That sounds like an incel. I'll say this. I'll... I'll give a recommendation and i don't usually like to give recommendations but if you would like to have a good time type in alec manassian interrogation into youtube and you, what you will get is a i believe two hour video of him talking to a police interrogator about chad's and stacy's this is the guy who in i think toronto canada drove a van into a group of people oh and you God, listen to yeah. him and he unironically, he's just, dude, he just fucking sits there talking to this fucking 50 year old man about how, you know, Elliot Roger brought in the incel uprising. And it's, it's unfair that he never got to fuck a Stacy. It's truly insane. And you, you don't need any commentary for this. You don't have to type, uh, you don't have to rely on any sort of analysis like that you can just listen to this man yourself and it's very very entertaining and upsetting. i don't get 
I don't get how this is a solution to their issue, though. Like, surely they can't think once they commit mass murder, they're finally going to fuck someone. No, they don't. I, I've thought about this a lot. So I've always been a little confused about, you know, the, how can you kill random people if somebody yeah. bullied you? Certainly you would kill the person who bullied you rather than random people, right? But I think yeah. like them killing random people is them rebelling against the order of just life itself. Like, I'm going to do the most random and nihilistic thing imaginable. I'm just going to kill random innocent people. But these dumb motherfuckers could be killing other incels. <laughs> like, there's no kind of <laughs> unity there. There's no kind of, like... Like, terrorists don't generally shoot each other when they're fighting opposing <laughs> forces. They could be shooting other virgins. They, I, I, they I, do I, shoot... They do shoot uh, opposing subsections of their faith, Jackson. Like, True. there are so many, uh, you know, different beliefs in the incel community. Like, it's like flat earthers, right? There's flat earthers yeah. who believe that we live in a dome. There's flat earthers who believe that we don't live a dome. They would all shoot each other. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, I guess if you're that much of a virgin in, into your late 20s or 30s and, and you've got this kind of rhetoric... You're not going to be likable even among your own peers. Either, well, so. yeah, the guy was 22. Uh, he's not like an old guy. Uh, he looks like an incel. Uh, it, it's I, I don't know why. Like the step, the logical step wouldn't be just work on themselves, right? Like okay, you're not takes happy. Effort. Well, that's because that's how it all is, of these communities is. spring up. It's people who would rather be bitter and angry rather than working True. and self-reflecting. No, okay. True. No, what you're talking about as the insult expert, Charlie, that's called looks maxing. Looks oh maxing doesn't work out for them. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Don't is laugh. that a video game term? Don't laugh. It sounds Yeesh. like it. You looks max, aka you go to the gym, you lose weight, yada yada, but that doesn't work out. And so, therefore, Stacy's are whores. It's almost as if being beautiful on the outside doesn't make you beautiful on the inside. Whoa. So, whoa. If, you, oh, yeah. so if, you, if you go to the gym just to, like, get in shape, but then you're still a entitled, selfish asshole with really warped views on women and other men, then you're not going to be very successful in dating, are you? Mm. They, all right, so they have a point that beautiful people get away with more things, or they have like beautiful people just have genuinely better lives. But that, that is you can't yeah. let you can't let things like that affect your own happiness either. You're, you're yeah. even if you're not beautiful, you're still able to live a productive and healthy life full of love and compassion. I'm and, not and you're denying... still able to find another. Uh, non-beautiful person to be with yeah. as well. I'm, I'm not denying at all that beautiful <laughs> people have an advantage. They do. They absolutely do. In just regular psychology, whether you think about it or not, beautiful people have more advantages in tons of things. But it doesn't mm -hmm. mean that you can't find somebody and work yeah, on yourself exactly. and be a good person. There's nothing stopping you from trying. Beautiful you know? people this, this, don't only date beautiful people. You see it all too. the yeah, time. Exactly. Like if you were just not a fucking I, creepy asshole, you would apt exponentially plus, increase your odds. Beauty, yeah. <laughs> beauty is so subjective as well. It is. It is, but also like, as a man myself, I have definitely been with the women where I thought, oh, I don't deserve this. Uh, yeah. I, I tricked her. I must have tricked her. <laughs> this is way better than I deserve. How did I do this? It's possible. Pe women don't just go for, uh, you know, uh, if you see a woman who's like a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She might go for you if you're interesting enough. But yeah. these guys, they don't want to settle. They don't want to be interesting. They just think, oh, my jawline, my cantle tilt. Which well, is a thing that they believe entitled. in, by the way. Well, they're, they're ju it's just an inflated very, sense of in very entitlement. entitled. Yeah. yeah. Because they Extremely. go, oh, I, they go, I deserve a beautiful woman. Or, oh, you know, this girl who might be interested in me. No, I don't want her. I want the 10 out of 10 in my eyes to just fall over me. You know? So it's an ugly they form want of Stacey. narcissism. 
Yeah. They want Stacy. They don't want the homely, maybe a little overweight girl in their class who reads books a lot and is really into classical music or something. No, they want the cheerleader. But they, they get the thing is, like, so they absolutely mad. could if they weren't like they don't even need to be good looking. Like sometimes that cheerleader is dating like a, a goober. A six like, yeah. out of ten, yeah. Yeah, it they happens need. all the time. <laughs> it's it's a complete <laughs> lack of self reflection. They yeah. look at all of everything that's going on and instead of going, OK, maybe that girl's just not interested in me or, oh, maybe I could work on myself and be better or stop doing this thing that I do that's driving people away. They instead go, nope, the world is fucked and it's unfair and all women are whores and yeah. it's not my problem. It couldn't possibly be my fault. It's them. This time women do that. This ties in directly to someone I've watched passively for the last month who's starting to catch steam online. I'm not going to say his name, but he looks like a 15-year-old dude and all he makes is pseudo-intellectual takes on women's intelligence. I, I'll send him to you, Kaya, because I keep my eye on him. Did you I'm find your old hard drive, Charlie? Wait, did, don't, don't you ever say that again. <laughs> <laughs> There's an interdimensional wormhole did you in say, Charlie's did you say, did you yeah, it's because I'm pretty sure like I can I feel like I should like somehow report <laughs> this guy because I'm pretty sure he's well, the next one to go up, like fucking postal. And uh, can oh you post God. it in the yeah, can yeah. you post it in the uh, our yeah. server? Yeah. Or DM me. He so he takes all this will probably give him away if they've seen him recently, but he films all I of his videos. I have no idea who that is. Yeah, they film Twitch he or film, YouTube. Uh, TikTok and YouTube actually. All of his videos are either filmed shirtless or with a shirt on, and they're from nipples up and as close as possible, so he looks bigger than he is. And everything he says about it is like how women are just dumber. Like he, he makes them sound like they're cavemen. <laughs> he even went as far to say women can't get close to God like men can. Wow. Yeah, no, like he's wait, so a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I wasn't aware that God only like took in smart people and dumb ones went to yeah, hell. No, it's, Holy it's, shit. It's fucking crazy. Like I've, I've kept my eye on uh, him for a while and it's getting worse and worse and worse from him. Oh, oh my God. God. Okay, I'm going to check this guy out just for entertainment's sake, but I'm going to say right off the bat, he's not necessarily bad looking. It could no, be good he's looking, not. He's not a bad right? looking guy. Yeah, yeah. He's not. He's not hideous. He's not deformed. He just needs to not be a dick, and he could get easily laid. Yeah. No. Who it, hurt him? Who I don't hurt know. you? It is. It is this. Like I, he had an eleven minute rant I watched today. It was an older one, but I hadn't seen it before. Oh my god, the shit in there is nutty. It's fucking nuts. So I, <laughs> this I, is what. This is probably going to give it away, and we can we can delete this. But his video titles are wild. I know, like, right? Women, women have no authority. Yeah. Women are not real. <laughs> yeah, it's what? crazy. <laughs> wow. I'm personally you, you, you very can, you can, you used can keep that in. to. Uh, if they find him, they find video. him. Yeah, it's fine. I'm he, he's very putting, used to he's putting himself like out there. I, yeah. I don't feel guilty about like people finding him or whatever. We're not, we're not advocating there. brigading or yeah, doxing, don't go harassing. but yeah, don't or harassing. But if you happen to find him, well, there's nothing we can do. He he only has like eight videos or like ten videos. Yeah, because he just Charlie. started that YouTube channel. Go to his TikTok. I think his TikTok has almost 250k followers. Let me check. Who? Wait, this Jesus what? Christ! Yeah. What? Yeah, no, it's it's a pretty popular TikTok. That's how I found him. But now he's posting uh, it to YouTube, so, so it's a, a video titled, Women Are Not Real. Mm -hmm. That gets views. Yeah. On TikTok, he sometimes gets over a mil. Jesus. Wow. What the fuck? Hey, Charlie. <laughs> do, you, do you know how old he is? No, I, I can't tell if he's 15 or like 20. I, I really don't know. He looks, it has to be he teenage years. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't yeah. know. But I also look young. So. I can't find him on TikTok. Actually, did he get banned? Yeah, it says couldn't find this account. Doubt it. Yeah, he might have got banned. No, he posts some like it. actually like deranged stuff. So it's not China super doesn't surprising. like incels. That might be why he's posting on YouTube now. All of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is this is insane. But this is normal. Like you. Okay, Charlie. This guy's young. But this is a very, very, very extremely common theme among the MGTOW community. This is very normal. It's a slope. It's a slope, behavior. right? Yeah, like he's just starting his journey. Like it's only yeah. gotten worse. The first time I watched him, he was like, 
I think women would find a man attractive if he did this. And now it's like women are too fucking stupid to appreciate a man unless he does this. And even if you do that, you she's still too dumb to understand <laughs> why she would like you or should like you. And nice guys never have a chance. They find you pathetic. But it it's a self-perpetuating cycle, right? Because as soon as someone as soon as someone says no, you're wrong. They just use that to further yeah. reinforce their position. It's nuts. It's, it's nuts. crazy. I, I still think that MGTOW, which stands for men going their, men own, going way, their own way, yeah. is a bunch of men who are incels who want to pretend that not getting laid was their choice. That sounds there, like him. There needs to be a superhero, a woman <laughs> out there who is a perfect Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> and what she needs to do for the greater good, she's got to be like perfectly attractive, perfectly into like Stacy shit, fill the stereotype to a T. She needs to find these men and fuck them. And then no. when they're done, no. well, no, well, then Don't when they're done, they uh, well, no, when they're done, uh, we need to see if their whole worldview is shattered. Just destroyed because you it's imagine like, what do they DC do? comic series. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> what do they do after that, though? Their whole entire life's work is meaningless because they're disgusting cretins who got that fucking station. What do you mean? <laughs> life's yeah, work. I, they, they post six minute videos. Fucking just. It's taking all of their life women. energy, Jackson. No, it's Jackson, all, all they have. It, it's obsession. It is an obsession. So like his TikTok is banned. So I can't bring any of that up it was video yeah. a couple videos a day all saying the same shit about women it, it was so much it yeah. was so so much so if they fuck the perfect stacy what do they do after that can he really be like uh women only want this and it's like well that perfect stacy wanted you explain that huh? but she didn't want to she she was only no, doing it to save some no lives. she her superpower is she wants to fuck incels and <laughs> <that poor, laughs> <that poor woman. laughs> Oh, God. Yeah. That's, we don't, we don't no, reinforce would bad still behavior, not be though. Fixed. Believe me, Ed, look, I talk to a lot of insults still to this day, right? You give them a very attractive woman, they're not going to know what they're going to do. They have no idea what to do. They will be very confused about what to do, but they still love to talk so much shit about what to do. Like, oh, I'm going to pull you into the stairwell and I'm gonna fuck you really hard in your butt for hours and hours and hours but <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That, I'm not even making that up. You guys are laughing. I'm not even making that up. That is a real thing that they say. You're just coming on to me. Yeah, dude, oh my I, god! I, I'm, 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 yeah. Kai. I'm fucking That's, drenched here. My god! <laughs> and they're not getting laid. Are you serious? Oh boy! I, <laughs> <laughs> it's something they believe in but oh. the thing is like every time i read that shit and girls sent me screenshots of like creepy insults hitting on them like uh, okay even if the woman agreed to this what are you gonna do like, you, you gotta fuck her for like five seconds and you're gonna come and God, it's gonna be the best you, five you, seconds you, of her life yeah, this is a with bit a of smile on their face yeah God, this is a bit of a tangent, but you got to feel bad for women sometimes when they hop on dating apps <laughs> yes. and shit and they oh, get messages so like that. Yes. Really oh, oh my God. For women. Imagine oh, like so bad. Bad. being, being a woman on a dating site and unironically getting a message that's like, I have a big penis and it's just for you. It's like, what do you do with this? <laughs> what Thank do you do you, with that? Finally. God. Dick pics. The low resolution dick oh, pics that God. they get that are like grainy. Lower, like 24 pixels. I know. I, and you have to pretend. You have to, pre you have to like pretend and be nice and fake it so that they don't show up to your house and fucking oh, you know, take it to the next step. No, don't like ever. That. Please, if you get a dick pic, block the guy. Yeah, block, block and don't respond. It's really the only op option. Unless yeah, you like the dick. Must, in which case, suck. well, you know, think about it. Yeah, maybe it was a cool penis. Yeah, maybe it yeah, did like a loop it, or no. something. If, if you it like if you like is. the picture, please reply to Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Stop leaving me on red. Yeah. <laughs> Any women out there listening, it's about time my voice is heard, you goddamn Stacys. Come on. <laughs> I don't know you liked what you saw. Becky's in. So by the way, so I, I am uh I have like an autistic female Mossad that talks what? to an insult. 
that I like to talk to called Harden. I've talked about oh, him Harden, before. Yeah. And yeah. And he has a lot of terms for women like and men, I guess. Uh Bertha, Stacy, Becky, Melvin, Urkel, Chad, Tyrone. And the list keeps going on and on and on and fucking on. He has a fucking name for every human who exists for him to stereotype. Yeah, but he's like a special breed. He's like a like serious more, case of incel. Mm-hmm. I, I don't even think like, well, yeah, he's probably, put your, put he's your, probably uh, more closely related to incel, but comments. he sounds like a true, like actual psychopath to me. Yeah. What you've told me. Absolutely. Like he's like the next step. He, I would absolutely believe that he was one of these like mass shooters or something. Like if if news came out that Harden had shot up uh, shot up no, somewhere, I'd be like, yeah, that sounds about right. We should have done something there instead of being in Discord calls with him. Have you put in like an anonymous tip just to like keep him like an eye on Harden, Kaya? Because I feel like you sh- probably should. Did Kaya, just- you're. You, I think he disconnected his he microphone muted? or something. Uh, no, I, I think he got to the him. Music. Yeah, I, I can hear the music, but I, I think his mic is disconnected. Yeah, I think his mic might have popped out or something. The incels heard and finally got to him. Yeah. Kaya! Come back! Oh. Kaya! And that's the end of this week's episode. We'll oh, never hear from Kaya yeah, again. Wait, we can keep it a mystery. Well, Take us out, Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks everyone for listening to this week's episode of the official podcast. Patreon.com slash the official podcast if you want to hear more. Uh, we've got episodes full of cliffhangers like this. It's a real <laughs> wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> listening to the official podcast. You won't know what happens next. It's crazy. Thanks everyone for listening. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Hey, thanks everyone. Bye bye.